Hey coders and welcome to episode 2.1 of our calendar service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. This video is going to be somewhat of an add-on to the last video when we talked about getting events in general. Now we're going to be talking about getting a specific event by its ID. So the two methods for today are get ID and get event by ID. So again, this is going to be somewhat of an optional video. You're not going to be using these methods in your everyday work. But if you're technologically savvy and curious, then I think you're going to enjoy this video. So let's jump into the code and have some fun. Okay, we know how to get the ID of the calendar. We would just go into our Google Calendar and then pick out a calendar. We would click on settings and then it would be basically right here. And we just copy that, paste it in to get calendar by ID. And then the next step is how do we get the ID of an event? So if we look at the calendar, we can't see the ID of any specific event just by clicking on it. There's no ID that pops up, anything like that. So how do we get this, this parameter right here, iCalID? Well, one way you can do it is you can get it programmatically. So let's say calendar app dot get default calendar. And then you would have to get all of the events or you just have to get the event somehow. And then let's, so let's get all the events for today pick out one of those, let's just pick the first one, and then if you hit the dot button, you'll get a list of methods for a calendar event, and then one of those methods is get ID. So this is one way you can get the ID, you can just use the method get ID, and then what you could do is you could just put this variable ID right in here, and it would work. But that kind of seems like an unnecessary thing, because again, why do we need to get the event get the ID, and then put the ID back into get event by ID to get an event. I mean, we already have the event. We don't even need to include that. We already have the event right here, right? So the only reason I would fathom using this is maybe just to get a bunch of IDs of a bunch of events, store that in a database so that in the future when I need them, I can reference that database, get the IDs, and then just use it right here. But this is not a good idea if you want to, again, just get one ID and then put it in here. So how you, how, what's the other way you can do it? Well, you can also do it manually. So you would go back into your Google Calendar, and this way is similar to the way that we did it with spreadsheets. So our spreadsheet set, uh, service playlist, when we opened by ID, we would open a spreadsheet by ID, we would have to look up into the URL. So if we click on one of the events, let's click on this first one for today, we'll hit Edit Event, and then we can look up into the URL, and it's similar, again, to the open by ID, except for when we extract this ID right here, this is not the ID, this is technically not the ID of the event, this is the base64 encoded version, or the encrypted version of the event ID. So it's everything from the last forward slash all the way to the question mark. So let's just copy that. And then we will say constant, ID two. So how are we going to decrypt this? Well, uh, App Script provides a method of the class utilities, and we're just going to breeze through this right now because we are not covering utilities right now. We're covering Calendar App, but they have a method called Base64 Decode. It takes an encoded string and it returns an array of bytes. So we'll just plop in our encoded string, but then again, this returns an array of bytes. But this get event by ID. This expects, this expects a string. So we need to convert our bytes into a string. And one way to do that is again use the utilities. We'll convert first our bytes, our array of bytes into a blob. And a blob again is a binary large object. That's what it stands for. And then we'll use an object on, on the blob. And we will get get data as string. So this will return a string for us, and this will be again the decoded base64 decoded uh, string of this string right here. Great. So we have that now stored in a constant called ID2. Let's just log that to the to the logger, and we'll see what both of these look like to compare them. So let me just copy this, and I will paste. ID2, if we first comment this out, and then we hit save, we hit run. Check out our logs. And we'll take a quick coffee break.
And here we go. So we have both of the IDs. And you can notice that they do look similar. Like these first, up until this at symbol right here, this is exactly the same as this second one. But then after it, they are different. And really the ID of the event is 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 everything before this app sim, at symbol right here. So this is actually the ID of the event. Google will just, or app script will just cut off this rest of it and won't even look at it. So really this is what we're going after right here. So how do we get this part right here? Well, you notice that there is a space right here and this is going to be the same for every single event ID that's base64 encoded. They will always be this space right here. So really what we just need to do is split this string in two based on the space and then just grab the first part of it. So let's do that now. Again, I'm just gonna breeze through this because we will cover this in a later episode. But now if we hit, um, actually, so we're not going to hit run right now. We are, what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this just to prove that it will work. And let's actually wrap this in a logger.log and change this to ID2. Again, this is the one that we got manually. ID2 is the one that we got manually. And then we will just to, actually just to prove that this works, we are going to say get title just so that we can know that we're getting the right event. And what we expect to see is wake up, right? This is the first event. This is the one that we chose. So that's what we expect to see from this logger log. So let's save it and we'll run it. And if we view the logs, I have to wait for a bit. Alrighty, so there it is. Here is wake up. So it did indeed get our event that we were interested in. So that is pretty cool. And again, here is our 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 manual ID that we got manually right here. Again, there's no more, there's nothing after it. You could have used this one as well, but then I'm just I'm just saying Google or App Script was going to cut off this latter part anyway. So you can use either this one or this one, it doesn't really matter. But um, they both work and they're both going to get the intended event. So this is wake up and we have got it. All right guys, I know that was, some part of these was a little bit complex, but if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.